So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to take apart the ram toe mirrors and paint them correctly. I've watched so many videos of people do this wrong and just not taking it apart and just spraying them how they are. I'm going to show you guys how to do it the correct way in this video. I've gotten so many questions in the groups I've been in over the years and no one has... I haven't actually seen a video of someone do it properly yet. I know people that do do it properly, but obviously they don't show you because they're trying to make their money. I'm going to show you guys how to take it apart 100% correctly to get the best paint job you can on these mirrors. Uh, obviously, I'll be painting in a booth and all this and that, but even at home, if you are going to attempt to actually spray it yourself, you need to know how to take it apart correctly. Uh, so we're going to get into that. I'm going to start showing you how to take it apart. You don't really need a whole lot to do it. Just something to cut with and then just a flathead will do. So these mirrors have chrome, so we're not going to be painting this cap area. So this part won't even be disassembled because there's no point. But the rest of the mirror with the actual textured part will come apart and I will show you how to do that 100% correct to get it as far apart as you can. You can only take these things apart so far, but I've watched so many people not even attempt to. <laughs> you know, whenever you fold the mirrors and you can still see the black, that's not a mirror done correctly. So we're gonna get into actually how to take this apart. I'm gonna show you a step-by-step -step on how to take it apart, how to prep it, how to paint it, and what the finished product looks like. Okay, to start off with, you can remove some of those foam pieces. You don't wanna get over spray all over that when you're painting them. And this is just from shifting. You'll not actually need this in the end. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna fold the mirror. I'm gonna do this off camera because it is a pain. Um, you'll take a flathead. And under this lip right here, so there's this rubber seal that goes along here. You'll start prying on that to pop off this outer arm piece. Uh, there's clips all the way around it. Um, sometimes a couple might break. It is not that big of a deal. Uh, if you break all of them, obviously it's a bigger deal, but. You know, just breaking one or two, it is not that bad. Uh, so you'll get that piece off. Uh, so what you'll have to do is you'll have to bend the mirror the other way. And you'll do two cuts here. And what that's going to do is do a gap right there so that you're able to slide it out at that point. You can use your preferred cutting tool. I'm going to use an ultrasonic cutter because I have one. You can use a Dremel or anything that, you, a hot knife. I mean, we've I've used several other things, but... Using the ultrasonic cutter for me is the best route, and that's the one I like to use. You are going to be getting rid of this tab. It's not a big deal. So the piece you cut off should look something like this. Uh, like I said, you'll have that tab. There's actually a little notch in here you'll see. If you just go straight to that notch out and then to the side, that should be enough to get those panels off. Um, from there, on these mirrors, these are Boost Autos, on any factory or any other aftermarket, I don't know on all of them, but uh, Boost Auto has screws, so you'll just take out all these zinc coated uh, Phillip heads, um, but on a factory one, they have a bunch of plastic rivets, uh, and all those will just need to be drilled out, you can replace them later with your preferred method, I mean I usually just use some type of glue. And then to get it off, you're going to have to fold it the opposite direction, but you'll just have to wiggle it back and forth until it comes out. You might have to cut a little more, uh, but I'm going to cut the camera until I get it off, and then I'll show you from there what else we got to do. So, only things left on these is uh, normally the puddle lamps. These are actually uh, fourth gen style mirrors for a third gen, so that will come out. I just got to pry it out. Um, but it doesn't actually have a puddle lamp there like the normal trucks would. And then that will be it. Some of them will have air temperature sensors. These are third gen mirrors, so they probably don't. I'd have to check the other one. But on a normal one, you would have an air temperature sensor and the puddle lamp. You'd remove both of those and then have them in the pile. Uh, you'll also want to remove this rubber tab here, the bump stop for the actual mirror assembly. They just pull right out. Uh, you don't want to paint over that, the paint will flake right off of it. 
uh, and you want to make sure you get rid of your seal that is in there and leave it to the side until you're ready to reassemble them. Alright, there we go. So yeah, these just come out just like a normal puddle in. Uh, so this one is fully disassembled and we're actually able to get it prepped and ready for paint. Uh, I'll show you how we do that once we get to the shop. So I'm going to catch back up with you guys when we get to the shop on how we prep these and how we get these ready for paint. So since Caden didn't want to record, <laughs> he got all of the ram mirror parts all scuffed up with red scotch bright. Uh, now we're going to get them adhesive motored and then primered so that we can then sand it down one more time make them completely smooth before we lay down the sealer in the base. Um, that's just our normal process for texture. We usually use a couple different primers, but right now we're just going to be using a normal high build primer with the adhesion promoter so that prevents any flaking down the line. some 320 grit. We're gonna get it all smoothed out even more before we start to paint it. Um, that's gonna get rid of all the texture or anything like that that he did while he was priming it. Okay, so Caden got these mirrors all smoothed out. Uh, the high build primer smoothed out really nicely with the 320 on the DA. Uh, and then he hand tanned obviously a couple spots you can't get with the DA, but it is ready for us to start putting sealer down and paint. All we gotta do now is get them cleaned up so that we can apply some paint. So we've got our sealer all mixed up, we've got suited up. Now we're gonna get in there and we're gonna start spraying. First we're gonna do adhesion promoter. I just do that as an extra safety precaution just because there's little pieces of plastic exposed. You don't want that flaking over time. So we're going to put a heat promoter and then the sealer down that we're going to wait and then we'll finally be able to put our base down. So let's get in there and start spraying. So we've given the sealer about 45 minutes to dry. Now we're gonna get the white mixed up. We're gonna be spraying PW7, which is just a Dodge white. Just something plain, no pearls, nothing like that. We're gonna get that mixed up and we're gonna start spraying it. finished laying the last coat of clear so now we'll come back tomorrow we'll put them together and we'll get them thrown on the truck okay we're back this morning everything is all dry we're gonna start getting everything assembled so we can get it thrown on the truck
So I hope this video was some help to some of you guys doing these RAM mirrors yourself. This will work on any 4th and 5th gen style mirror or a 4th gen style mirror for a 3rd gen. I think they have it for 2nd gens too. It's all the same. There's little changes here and there depending on the brands and if it's OEM and all that. But for the most part, this is how you do it. Well, I messed up a little bit. I forgot to actually record anything of us putting it on or what it looked like in the final product. So I'll throw a photo here of what it looked like. So that's what the finished product looked like. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this might help you out if you guys are doing this yourself. Please leave a like and subscribe. There'll be many more videos coming along.